Okay, so what I was telling you about bringing this in, connecting it with this, what I wanted to do now was to actually talk about the roots. We want to talk about what's going in the midst of the roots. And we want to tangle all this in here. Because the main thing that we're going to, the main thing of our concept of what I'm trying to do is to tell everybody, humans, we are mixing in and we are making the formula of what we call Mother Nature. A lot of times people don't want to understand, but in order to reduce something down to the lowest term to understand it, where we can understand it, it's not for us. It may be 15,000, 25,000 years from now somebody even take this information that we are recording today to the very best of recorded information's ability. So what I want to do with this, I want to bring this and I want to attach this to this. So when I put it together, it's all going to stay together. The whole thing is to bring this out of this bag. Talk about what's in my bag. Because the main thing is what's in my bag. You say don't judge the book by looking at the cover. You want to judge the contents of a person's life, not by its output of left information. You want to judge it by its whole character of its life and its style. What has it used? What did it do? Because my, my whole thing is you all can't carry it to the grave with you. You know that. A lot of you all here, uh, if you go even to Westminster Abbey, you're not going to see no whole big old garbage truck off in West Memphis Abbey talking about the junk, the trash, and the debris everybody had while they lived in England or while they lived in Europe. So now I want to take this here because you see I'm taking it to the finest point that I can take it. But the main thing that I'm taking this to is to do what? Do it well or not at all. This is almost like saying that the Sandman or Lonnie Bradley Holly as an artist, he came over with the result of 30 some years worth of investigating materials. This is going to be beautiful. It's beautiful already. But uh, what I wanted to do, I want this to stand on its own. I want it to stand up. So my thing now is to manipulate this the status, <laughs> as one would say, this the ability, and we all got to do that. And it yeah, it was wonderful for me to come over here and see that you all are far in far more in advance than we are in America with the studies and with your futuristic presentation already what you're doing with that are to me it's very very so I'm gonna take this here blue because the United States of America and Britain has a bit of blue or Europe has a bit of blue in certain parts of there I, I know Britain uh, have the red white and the blue and their flag too so I want to make this stand up in here. I want to make it. This can hang on the wall. This can be a hanging piece on the wall or it can be a piece that you can hang from up some other place. The most important part of this right here, and this is becoming beautiful, if I can slowly turn it. And if you can see where, I, where I'm coming from with this. But in the overall picture of this, I can take this woman right here. This is almost like the red, white, the blue. This, no, this is the red, black, and the green for the Africa. And you got the yellow in there. You can see her face on there. You see the woman's face. The different wives themselves can talk about the different level or time periods of birth. So we're going to hang that in there. We see that it is hanging in there. 
for us as, as a people, we must learn to seek. Seek means to look for, to learn. To look for, to learn. I got this piece of marble stone. This is more of a gravestone concept. This is the family. It can be made as beautiful as you want to make. I mean, I looked at the uh, Washington Mall and I looked at the Mo Washington Monuments and I've come over here and I saw monuments. And if I go to Western Ministry Abbey, I'll see monuments cut out of this particular stone here. So I want to put it in there. I brought a piece of this right here. This is cotton, actually. Cotton. And as an older human, I have picked cotton. I did. So I want to be able to take a piece of this here and tie this in and around there and also talk about the sailing time, the time when we first start our adventure. This was what, what was allowed to blow in the wind, to blow the ships from, from coast to coast. In this bag, I got this bone. This is a chicken bone. Everybody need to be in there. All the way to this conch shell. This is a conch shell from the ocean deep. From the depths of the ocean to the land, we needed to be in nourish. How do we get in nourish? What is in nourishment? Mental in nourishment for me? I want to put that on there. You all will see it on there. And I want to tie this one in here. I want to put this bone in here. This doesn't mean no witchcraft, no voodoo, no hoodoo, or none of that stuff. It means if I don't eat, I will not get in nerves and I will die. This means if I don't go out and look for this or if I don't use the ocean for the purpose that the ocean has for me and that's giving life that I may take from it and survive. The whole thing of this is coming down to this black bag right here. I want to bring this in here and then I'm going to kind of bring it to a, to a front because I don't want to put up too much of your time. But if we do not learn what to bury, how to bury, I just told the bag. I was looking at tearing the bag. That was a concept. If you look at the tsunami of Japan, you look at the earthquake of Haiti, the Haitian earthquake, you look at people all over the world that is homeless, that need something or somewhere, nine times out of ten, if they don't have enough to survive while they're living, they can't even be done purchase themselves a black bag to be buried in. The black bag is the crown it, it, it's, it's at the crown of this piece. The artificial again, here it is. I don't see very much more artificial. And you can't get much more artificial than this right here. This right here actually is the yellow. This is the yellow. Sometimes when you're traveling, you got this here as a double line. That means do not pass. You can't pass when the line is double. And when I saw this road out here, I saw the little, little, little yellow to keep the cars within the perimeter of this is your road versus this is too far on the shoulder. This yellow letting you know when you're outside of the line of, of driving. I want to put this on here because we have a tendency to only want to do and give thanks so artificially because it's a digital time. But we want to do everything so artificially instead of doing it real. You all tell me, Lonnie, I know you bring it. I know you bring I know you coming to make it and bring it for real. So I hang that artificial leaf on there. And I'll leave, leave that yellow let that little bitty thing here because yellow means caution. And also yellow means energy from Father Son giving Mother Universe all she needs, giving us the humans on Mother Earth all we need 
to survive. And I thank you all.